Hey everybody, it's me Richard with Nightmares. Cheers anyone. So today it's Friday, March 11th. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the audio version of 2016's The Motion of Puppets by Keith Donahue. Now you guys know, well, come back after the intro you guys. Welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, I have my Fade to Black t-shirt on. Now, if you guys have seen Fade to Black, now if you guys have seen Fade to Black, you know you know it starred uh, Eric, no, <laughs> Dennis Christopher as Eric Binford, and the tagline to the movie was, Eric Binford loves the movies. Sometimes he even kills for them. Yeah, great film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. So, uh, I am going to take a quick sip of coffee now. In honor of this re this review, I'm drinking out of my Evil Queen mug. Yeah, I know the Evil Queen and Snow White doesn't have anything to do with puppets. But, like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, if you've ever been to Disneyland, you know Snow in, in Fantasyland, Snow White's Scary Adventures is right next to Pinocchio, Pinocchio's Daring Journey. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we're going to tie this in. Now, uh, you guys, oh, how do I start this? Now, this audiobook was sent to me by the author, Keith Donahue, and he wrote his newest book, and it's called, it's right there, The Boy Who Drew Monsters. Now, if you guys have seen my review on that, check it out below in the basement, or you can check it out right here. I'll put a, a link to it right here, or here, wherever they show up. I freaking loved that book. Now, I uh, got a signed copy of that book to put on my bookshelf with my signed copies of books. And Keith Donahue sent me this too at the same time. Now, this is on HCDs. It's unabridged. Takes approximately nine and a half hours to listen to. I listened to it at 1.5. Uh, so, where do I go with this? First off, I'm going to read you guys... Um, oh, wait, before I get into today's review. So, with it today, with it being March, Friday, March 11th today, there is a book, not a book, erase that. There is a movie coming out today on Netflix DVD, and it's also streaming on Amazon Prime and Roku. So, if you have a Roku device, you can stream it on Roku for free. It's called The Exorcism of God. We're watching it tonight. With it being right now 3.30 on Friday, I'm going to watch it tonight. Review coming up soon. The movie looks absolutely terrifying. Um, so I'm going to be watching that as soon as I download, edit, and up, upload this video. But let's get into this review. So uh, I'm going to read the back. So of course, I got to throw on my glasses and you're going to get the glare from my ring light so sorry I can't get I, I can't stop that so it says in the old city of Quebec Kay Harper falls in love with a puppet in the window of the Quatermain a toy shop that is never open hmm that should have been your first clue something's gonna be messed up here 
She is spending her summer working as an acrobat with, with the Cirque, while her husband, Theo, is translating a biography of the pioneering photographer, Edward My Muybridge or Mybridge. Late one night, Kay fears someone is following her home. Surprised to th see that the lights of the toy shop are on and the door is open, she takes shelter inside. Now, it's after midnight. It's really super late when she goes in here. The next morning, Theo wakes to discover his wife is missing. Under police suspicion and frantic about her disappearance, he obsessively searches the city. Meanwhile, Kay has been transformed into a puppet and is now a prisoner of the back room of the Quatremont. Trapped with an odd assemblage of puppets from all over the world, who can only come alive between the hours of midnight and dawn? The only way she can return to the human world is if Theo can find her and recognize her in her new form. So begins the dual odyssey of a husband determined to find his wife and of a woman trapped in a magical world where her life is not her own. Okay, now... This book is supposed to be loosely based on the, I think it's, um, I don't know, uh, the old story of Ophelia and somebody, Mortius, Mont something, Ophelia. But I, not being a fan of Greek mythology, or I don't even know, what that story is i do know the uh, the uh, the characters of um odysseus and i don't remember i should have looked it up before i did this review but of course i didn't but i would consider this um if you took the disney classic of pinocchio bred it in a weird uh breeding episode with Mother Goose's nursery rhymes for kids and then crossbred those two with those cheesy uh, puppet movies from the 80s and 90s and yes that is why I wore this shirt because it came out in the 80s um, yeah, those movies, the Puppet Master series. Now, or even that classic movie, the uh, it's not the, but it's just called Dolls, where it's the the poster is so cool. It shows the picture of like this weird, crazy doll, and it's holding both its eyes in its hands. But uh, yeah, this book. Um, first off, it's narrated by Bronson Pinchot again, who also narrated. The Boy Who Drew Monsters. Now, Bronson Pinchot, if you guys remember from the 80s, uh, he did the voice of Balky on some weird TV show. I never watched it, so I can't tell you the name of that video. I can't tell you the name of that TV show. Like, I can't tell you the name of the story that this book is loosely, loosely, loosely based on. But it starts out so creepy. Now, the first 30% of this story was so damn creepy that I was like, okay, this is why I don't like fucking dolls. I don't like dolls. I don't like puppets. And I don't like those uh, ventriloquist dummies. Hell no. I've seen Dead Silence way too many times. So, um, yes, she does enter this toy store and she does get turned into a puppet. Now, from there, I think... Donahue just took the story in more of a fantastical fantasy slash weird love story of a husband looking for his wife. I don't see where it was a horror novel. And uh, you can see right here that it's labeled. Um, where did I see right here? Crime. No, not crime. Right here. Fiction. Horror. I didn't get that it was horror. Um, it was more of a creepy, creepy, creepy uh, thriller. Um, Bronson Pinchot is phenomenal. He does all the voices of all these different characters. Now, when I say different characters, we are talking the good fairy. We're talking uh, Pinocchio. We are talking every single... Cyrano. We're talking of every single character that was ever in um, book or classic fiction or puppets now you got to remember these puppets are from all around the world it just didn't work for me uh I, I i i couldn't get into 
After that first 28, 30%, it just took a downhill for me and um, I was disappointed. I really wanted to love this. I wanted to be as scared and as entertained as I was with The Boy Who Drew Monsters, which I absolutely, absolutely loved. Um, it wrecked me. It scared the shit out of me. This one didn't do it for me. But I gave it a three star, bumped it up from 2.6, 2.7. The narration is phenomenal. The narration is incredible. The starting of the story really, 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 really is creepy. But yeah, so that's my review. <laughs> so yeah, that's my review of 2016's The Motion of Puppets by Keith Donahue. Now, um, once again, you guys, if you haven't done so yet already, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked today's review. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, talk about the channel, share it with your friends. Um, and what else? With it being Friday, I want all of you guys to pick up a good scary book, uh, have great nightmares. And to my dear friend Adriana in New York, you guys are looking for another snowstorm. You guys are supposed to get like a foot of snow over this weekend and uh, it's gonna be freezing fucking cold so I'm kind of jealous but I'm kind of not because right now my hands are freezing cold my hands are so cold I'm drinking hot coffee and it's in the 70s here in Sacramento yeah it's beautiful outside it's so sunny but you guys take care and remember fade to black and don't forget about the exorcism of God yeah, I can't wait to watch it later. Take care, you guys. Stay scared. I'm Richard with Nightmares Tears Anymore. I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Once again, thanks to Keith Donahue.